Hey Geminis, how's it going guys? How are you doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Julia Devine's channel, what is up? My name is Amy. If you are returning, welcome back. Whew. This is Gemini's message for September 2020. Great message ahead. Sorry that I didn't make it to um, August, but we are here in September. I have a great message ahead, so let's just get going guys. Very excited. You guys have a very great message, so I definitely feel like I'm a Gemini and I know that we're on track, so I'm very excited to read. So right off the hop, we're starting off the Four of Cups for Gemini. So a lot of you Geminis in your are in your head right now about a current situation, whether it's, you know, a friendship, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a career plan. I really feel like Spirit has been trying to show you or offer you things because as you see this this man is sitting here and you know this reminds me of spirit of god whoever you choose to see this as and you know he has been trying to offer this person a cup so that cup is like a relationship it's love for me right so i feel like what's going on for gemini's is that you are afraid to take this cup you're afraid to take this leap you are afraid and I know this is going to sound silly, but some of you are afraid of being happy because it kind of feels like every time we have chosen to be happy before or we have fallen for people, they have really proved to us that they weren't worth it in the first place. But being able to look back on all those times that I was rejected, I now see that God had protected me. I now see that those relationships that I really truly desire, they were not meant for me and they would have hindered me going further in my journey and I feel like God had saved me a couple times from um, the situations that I was in so I really feel like that's what's going on for Gemini's is that you're in a place where it's like you see that spirit is trying to offer you something but at the end of the day like something within you feels afraid to take that leap based on you still holding on to things from your past that you really need to let go Gemini and we have a death card so you're going through a whole transition right now transformation and you have to allow this cycle to end. You have to allow something to to complete itself because you are not who you used to be. And I really feel as as you are learning these lessons, as you have gone through the last couple months, you have really started to see more self-worth in yourself than you have in a while. Because I feel like you're really changing. And Jamna, you're changing for the better. You're starting to see that not only do you have a value, not only do you have worth, that you are capable of anything that you put your mind to. So you're working really hard on, you know, three three of um, Pentacles says you're working really hard on building up, leveling up, growing. And I feel like you're working really hard. If it's not, you're working really hard on yourself. You're working really hard to keep an open mind, to to keep a relationship going based on the fact that you are choosing to be in that relationship because that person is giving you what you exactly need. And, and, and when I say that, I, I kind of feel like you've been in this place where you stayed in the relationships because you didn't want to be alone. But now Gemini, now you see that you don't need to be with anyone else to be happy that the people that are in your life right now, or you are choosing to allow to be there because they're, actions are over words right like they are proving themselves to be worthy of your time and energy so that's that's the difference there gemini is that back then i feel a lot of you listened more to words than you did action but based on the last couple months i have really seen you guys grow i've really seen you guys evolve i've really seen you guys get to the point where you're starting to recognize your own worth and your own value. You're starting to put yourself on a higher pedestal. You're starting to set those healthy boundaries. You're starting to see yourself as, you know what, the queen that you are, which is fantastic, which is exactly what Gemini's need to be doing. They need to know that they can do whatever they put their mind to. And that's what I see for you guys, especially with the eight of pentacles coming right after. It's knowing that let's, let's say we're talking about career or business you have a goal in mind. You have a plan. You have a three-year plan, five-year plan, year plan, 10-year plan, right? You know what you want, Gemini. You know what you've been working hard towards. You know what's in your heart. You know what you're passionate about. You know what your calling is. You know what your purpose is. And now it's about putting all those plans to fruition. It's, it's believing that you're worthy of all of these things to come true. It's believing that, you know what, I'm going to start here and I'm going to wake my way up. 
You know, I'm not going to let anyone deter me. I'm not going to let anyone bring me down. I'm not going to let anyone tell me I can't do anything because I can do whatever I want. I can do whatever I put my mind to because not only am I smart, but I'm worth it. And that's a huge difference from now, from back then, is I feel like for the first time in a very long time, Gemini, you know you're worth it. You know not only are you worth that relationship that you want, you're worth that career you want. And because you're vibing at a higher level, because you're starting to see that in yourself, you're drawing in people. King of Swords. There's someone in your facility right now that is watching you. That is seeing you in such a different light. They are seeing how bold and beautiful you are. They are seeing how confident you were becoming. They are seeing how much you are glowing and how much, you know, you're radiating. And, and just that confidence is sexy. So you are attracting the right people in your life. If you are still single, Gemini, it is because God is saving you for someone. It is because there is someone out there that is meant for you and they are coming towards you, but you got to keep working on you. You got to keep vibing high, keep your thoughts positive, keep working on you, keep working on that self-confidence. You know, if you're in a relationship, if you're connecting with something, I feel like it's, it's taking that risk. It's taking that leap. Keep working towards what you're working towards. Stop overthinking the situation because there is a cycle that is ending and a new one has started. So allow this new cycle to take it slow. Okay. Allow this new cycle to, to really go the way that it's supposed to. Don't rush, have patience and be understanding that sometimes things don't always go as we planned, but sometimes the best things in life are unexpected. So just keep moving forward. Rise above your failures. Rise above anything that's ever brought you down. Rise above and just know that, you know what, you are capable of more, but you got to believe, Gemini, that you're worthy of that, okay? So take that leap. Take that risk. You have so much strength within you, Gemini. So much strength and so much patience. And if you're like me, you're probably not the perfect patient person. But look back on all of those times that you were like, oh, I want to give up. I just can't handle this anymore. But you you stayed in there. You stayed in there. You said, you know what? I'm just going to take a breather. I'm going to regain my thoughts. And I'm going to keep going. And that's what you did. We as Geminis, we don't back down. We as Geminis, we keep going. No matter what life throws at us, that's the one thing I can say about us Geminis is that we keep going. We see that fire and we still continue to walk through it because we know that once we walk through this fire, whatever storm we are facing, is it's like God will take us through that and he will bring us out the other end. And I really believe that. I really believe you have power within you, Geminis to go wherever you need to go right now. And it, the month of September for you guys is about growing. It's about evolving. It's about trusting. It's about being understanding. It's about not overthinking. It's about allowing these changes to happen, allowing these cycles to end, and knowing that there's so many blessings around you right now. You know, you have to fill this cup up with what you need. You have to look at your life and you have to ask yourself, am I happy? And if, and if you are fantastic, continue doing what you're, what you've been doing to continue to make yourself a priority and yourself happy, Gemini. But if you're not happy, okay, what can, what changes can we make in September so we can get happy again? Who do we have to let go in order to be happy? Who do we have to give a chance in order to allow new love to come in? Because you're a valuable queen. You're a valuable woman. And you have eyes all around you. I feel like there is a few people who are eyeballing Gemini. Because Gemini is sexy. We're confident. And if you're not, it's about gaining that confidence this month. It's about gaining that 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 feeling of sex, sex, sexiness. About knowing that, you know what? You are something to someone. And even though you may not have seen your self-worth or self as Like, maybe your self-esteem took a hit in the past... But we're not living in the past anymore, babes. We're moving forward. September is all about change. It's all about doing what you need to do for you. Build your self-esteem up. Do whatever you need to do to know that you're worthy and you're beautiful and you're amazing and you're worth the good things that are coming ahead. Because there's positive changes ahead. But I feel like it's steaming from the need to let go of what has happened to you in order to allow what is coming towards you to change you because it's going to change you for the better. All right. Oracle cards from the moology. We have a win-win outcome is in forecast. 
The full moon in Libra, the sign of partnership, of falling in love, and of closely relating to someone else. Since full moons are about climaxes and conclusions, this card suggests you're either about to start a new relationship or that an important existing relationship is changing somehow, perhaps coming to an end or moving to a new level of commitment. It's important to remember that people come to us for a reason, sometimes just for a season. If a relationship is ending now, it's doing so at the right time, so try not to fight it. This card can also refer to a professional relationship. There's a sense that you need to balance your ego with someone else's needs. A win-win outcome is possible with give and take. Doing so might be the answer to your question. See the other person through the eyes of love. It will change your perspective. It's time for you to make a firm decision. Time for you to focus on yourself for a while. Look after yourself, but avoid vanity. Now is a great time for a makeover. So it's kind of like what I've been saying. So it's not a bad thing. It's just saying, you know what, sometimes... We, we expect so much from someone. We expect that, oh my gosh, this person's coming into my life. You know, maybe they're only coming in for a season and that's okay. That happens, right? You know, maybe this person's here for a while. Maybe this person's here for a couple months. But if this person does choose to leave, if they do choose to walk away, if they choose to not see your worth or your value, well, you don't want them anyways. So continue to move forward because there, there's someone new about to embark onto your life. Or there's someone already here who's going to show you. Okay. The energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. During the waxing moon cycle, hope springs external. This card is a very positive omen, indicating that you can create the reality you're dreaming of. Though, it will take some work and you're not quite there yet. This is a time of energies rising up. Emotions are building too. Where do you want to go and do you believe you can get there? Either you can just keep meditating and focusing on your desired outcome, or you can make the courageous commitment to take more practical steps towards your goals. Whichever you decide, you're most certainly on the right track. The, the situation is full of potential. Your dreams can come true. More effort is yet required. Are you willing to give it? Renew your goals and ensure you're still committed. Keep moving forward. <sighs> This is a very empowered and empowering time. And this is a very promising card. It suggests now is the time to make plans and to act on them, no matter when you actually pulled the card. So you have this power within you. You know, you have this light about you, Geminis, that says, you know what you need in your life right now, so go after it. And if love is happening for you, if love is possible, jump on it. If this person's meant to be for you, they will stay. If they're not, they will leave. But if they choose to leave, like I said, then let them go because that just means that someone better is about to come your way. So don't be upset about it, okay? Nothing will come out of this situation. Void, of course, moon. So let's see what this is about. In a form of astrology known as Hori, where an astrologer... Ugh, astrological chart is cast according to when the question is asked and decoded a void of co huh. a void of course moon means nothing will come of this matter or the situation will bear no fruit this may or may not be good news depending on what you're asking for for example if you are worried about something whatever it was this card can be taken as a sign that there is nothing to worry about however if you're asking about a new project of any kind Including a new relationship, it is designed to adjust your expectations or change things so you can get a different outcome. Remember the cards can only predict what you're currently creating and you can change them with your both behaviors and beliefs. The chances of something are diminishing. Something better may be around the corner. What did I say? Believe that you will get what you need. Surrender to the divine. Take time out. Meditate and contemplate. Yes. So there is a lot going on, Geminis. And I know you guys feel like, oh my god, Amy. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to feel anymore. There's just so much change. This change is good, guys. I promise, okay? So you guys have yourself a fantastic September Geminis, and I will see you guys in October.